I'm eating a lovely breakfast that my husband made for me. It's got eggs, ham, mushrooms, onions, and cheese. Obviously, I'm not doing my fitness right now because I'm not worrying about that with my arm. I haven't been eating that much. I didn't really have much of an appetite. I think it's coming back. But I showered last night. Kevin helped me. Had the hose. <laughs> kind of interesting. I, um, natural reflex, tried to move my arm twice. So it kind of hurt. So. I'm in a little bit of pain right now. I'm probably going to eat my eggs. Maybe Kevin will let me watch the rest of uh, Hunger Games Catching Fire because I didn't finish that one last night. And then I get to watch Mockingjay Part 1 later. Um, <clears throat> other than that, that's all I have going on. What do you have going on? I have no idea because I really can't finish what I was doing in the kitchen because there's food everywhere. Sarah had to make <clears throat> a cake for the baby shower and it's all up on the bar up there. And Kevin can't sand or do anything in the kitchen because it'll make dust and we can't make dust. Otherwise, they'll be eating cake with dust on it. Concrete. Concrete dust. <laughs> So, uh, I think maybe possibly I will start putting stuff on eBay and Craigslist. And that's oh, so I maybe I can stay out here and we can watch. Yeah, I could probably, I'll be back and forth, but you can watch your shows out here. Okay. okay. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Are you making fun of me? No, never. Something might fall, Freckles. Keep an eye on it. It could fall. I think he's dead. Pit bulls are so vicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Kane. Is he breathing? Yeah, he's fine. Every time I just look at you, it's like, oh, it's time to play with Kevin. Right? Right? So Sarah just called us. She's over at Walmart, and she comes out of Walmart, and the whole side of the hills over there is engulfed in flames. All right, so, yeah. I don't know exactly where that is, but that's a pretty big fire. Can you see flames? I can just see the sun uh, setting behind it, which is making it look redder than it really is. <laughs> it's on, dear. Well, I thought you were moving it back or Bed. something because you looked like you were Bed. zooming out. Woo! Bed. Hello, everybody! I'm not going to be able to make it to Skylar's baby shower tomorrow. So Ross and Skylar stopped by here tonight to open 
their baby shower gifts. Yay. Now, you all know that Skylar is Sarah's daughter. So, yes, Sarah's the hot grandmother. Oh, my God. Hey. I, I didn't wrap. Who, who wrapped? Grandma. Hot Dude, Dave. Grandma. I did. I kind of figured. Dave. You're lucky that I didn't wrap the whole thing in tape. <laughs> oh, my God. And then wrap that in tape. What you should have done was wrapped it and then taped it and then rewrapped it and then taped it and then wrapped it. What I should have done was spent $20 on zebra stripe duct tape and wrapped it that way. Wow. So what'd you get? <laughs> a baby bather. It's a new baby bath. They didn't have these when Megan was a baby. And I so wish they would have because yeah. it's plastic. Because Val had to set, take a baby out and hose her off in the backyard. Like vinyl. It's like a vinyl. Yeah, it, it's a, vinyl. A it's waterproof. I would say mesh. It's Not waterproof. Vinyl. And it's got three heights. And it folds up really tiny. And you could do this right in the bathtub. You could do this in your sink, in your kitchen, you know. I'm or in the backyard. Hey, 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 yes, I Kevin's got this obsession of hosing me off that in the backyard. Purple. Well, I'm opening it. Because you uh -huh. got that one. Open it. Okay, uh -huh. who's next? <laughs> I thought it was Woo! that easy. Amazing okay. rat. You stole my purple. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness! You, can, I, you, you gotta have onesies. I know. Why? So you can open that one? Yep. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. Hey, hey, hey! I don't want the baby to come out here. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> no. I will stick pain on you. I'll oh, stick freckles on you. <laughs> hey. Go to bed. Go to the paper. <laughs> Lay down. Okay, bed. Now. Be cute. Bed. Aww. Be Aww. a bubby. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Do you have a damn broccoli pepper? No. No. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. And it's like a little pink. It's gray. So you know what that little round thing is for, right? Yeah. It goes in the, her car seat. Yeah. And it holds her head from going out. Oh. Like a weeble, what are they called? Bobbleheads. Weeble wobble. Bobblehead. <laughs> you He's is like, my, no. You is my footrest. No, you not move. No, you not move. <laughs> no. Ah. Okay. He's like, ooh, smelly. Oh. <laughs> so here it is about nine o'clock at night, and here is the fire. We now know it's in Chino. Still quite a distance away, but it seems to have taken up an awful lot of uh, forested area that's there in the, the dam. Pretty scary stuff. And of course there is a party going on next door, as you can hear. They weren't invited. Be in the shot. Hello! 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 How are you? I'm Ham. That was not the cat. It was Ham, did you hear him? Okay. It's time for neighborhood community shout outs. Wow, 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 wow. We got a pretty big fire. Sounds like Charlie Brown right now. <laughs> yeah. But we showed you the fire, so I don't need to talk about the fire. We're on fire. We can't find any news about the fire. We don't know how close the fire is to our house. So we don't know if we should be packing up all the animals. Or what? We didn't start the fire. It was always burning because the world was turning. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Master Yoda. No! Girls don't fart. It's a ploy. Guys make it, make this whole thing up. It's a ploy to make them think we fart. But no, girls don't fart. Oh my 
God. We don't fart at all. Oh. No, not at all. Seth Chapman, shout out to you. Ooh. Okay, how do you say that name? Arian Roy. Arian Roy, Arian. welcome to the neighborhood. She's not yelling at you. She's just loud. Excuse, you're, you're on my arm, you're on my arm, okay. Excuse me, we're busy. She's not yelling at you. We're busy. I swear, I swear. Okay, so yesterday I asked everybody if you had a collection and what did you collect and why. We had a couple of interesting things. Terry Johnson collected Barbies. I collected Barbies my whole life and when Megan got older I collected Barbies for Megan. And I collected the type that were all dressed up fancy and I wouldn't let her open the boxes and stuff like that. Well, one day she just kept bugging and bugging and bugging and bugging, and I wasn't feeling good, so I said, fine, open them. And then I went back to my parents' house one time, and I went up into the attic to get my bag of Barbie stuff, and my dad got the bag of Barbie stuff and a bag of trash mixed up, and all my Barbie stuff went to the dump. Is that what he told you, huh? Ah what he told you. Yeah, because those Barbies That's would have been right. worth some money. And your and your your gerbil went to that farm too. <laughs> right? No, he never did that to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. He never did that to me. Bambi S collects Pillsbury Doughboy stuff. You know the little cook guy and you poke him in the belly and he goes, hee 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 I think he's a cutie. Tanya Longley. She's collected porcelain and dolls for as long as I can remember. And I remember one year for Christmas, she came over and she was helping us wrap Christmas presents. And my mother gave her a doll to wrap. She wrapped her own Christmas present. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, I like Cole today. Buttons, pins, patches, and stickers. That's kind of like hippie stuff. Yeah, that's kind of hippie stuff. Ruby man. Yeah, I like hippie stuff. I bet you, none of you can can name what I get, what I collect. Do you think you can name what I collect? See, he can't name what I collect. They stare at me all night long. <laughs> all right. I collect polar bears. What do you collect? Uh, unemployment. <laughs> Good don't, answer. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Good answer, Kev. <laughs> Sarah's over on the other side of the, ca the camera and she's like, I collect tattoos. <laughs> so, my question for tonight is... If you could put one thing in a time capsule and have it buried for 50 years to be dug up in 50 years, what would you contribute to the time capsule? Twinkie. <laughs> You're, you can't answer till tomorrow. You can still eat it in 50 years. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so... There's my question. It's time for, if he can stop petting his cat long enough, to do the Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Oh, gosh. Okay, so yesterday's question was kind of a cool one. It made you kind of think because uh, it was about the, the movie 1964 Last Man on Earth that starred Vincent Price. Uh, it was written by an excellent horror, film, uh, horror writer named Richard Matheson. It actually was his first novel. And uh, the, the, it was called I Am Legend. Uh, it inspired the entire zombie and um, pandemic disease genre of films. It was the very first one. 
so, and George Romero says that it was his big inspiration for A Night of the Living Dead, and um, pretty much it uh, spawned several copies um, of Omega Man, and of course the, uh, the Will Smith I Am Legend. Had, Good movie. Yeah, it's an excellent movie, but had nothing to do with uh, Richard Matheson's story. Tonight's question has to do with, and this is an odd one, uh, at The Exorcist, 1973, I do believe it was. And um, it took a year to film, and during that year, there was some deaths that, are, that were associated with the movie. How many deaths were associated to the movie during its one-year film? Did I say that right? I think so. All right. There you have it, everybody. There's your trivia question for tonight. What? Oh, oh, he's weird. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you sitting out there watching us sitting right here. How do you know they're sitting? Standing out there, sitting, laying, watching, standing, kneeling, whatever. <laughs> we love you. Give me your hand. We love you all very, very much. Did I touch you this time? No. <laughs> you did good. Right. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, PIN, Megan's Arts and Crafts, and check out her Society 6 store, guys. She's got lots of nice stuff up for sale. Oh. We'll catch you all tomorrow.